Hi everyone, Dr. Mike here. In this video, we're gonna talk about the three different ways that hormones can be released from their glands and cells. Now, the three different ways are a hormonal stimulation, a humoral stimulation, and a neural stimulation. Now, let's have a look at these three and go through some examples. So, the first way that cells or glands can release their hormones is through the stimulation of other hormones. So, that means that some cells or glands that themselves produce hormones, can release those hormones into the bloodstream. They can float through the bloodstream and stimulate other cells and glands to release their hormones into the bloodstream. This is the hormonal stimulation method. Now, these hormones, the first set of hormones that are released that stimulates the next set of hormones to be released, you'll find that in their name, they usually have the word tropic in there, like adrenocorticotropic hormone. These are hormones that are released that stimulates the adrenal gland to release their hormones, okay? So if you have a cell that releases a hormone that stimulates another cell to release a hormone, then that first hormone usually is gonna have tropic in its name. That's the hormonal stimulation. If we have a look at humoral stimulation, don't get this confused with hormonal stimulation. Humoral is referring to things floating around in the bloodstream. So. What I've got here is the pancreas. We know the pancreas is responsible for the release of insulin when blood sugar levels are high and glucagon when blood sugar levels are low. So what we have floating in the bloodstream is sugar or glucose. So this is the humoral response. So this glucose floating in the bloodstream is the stimulus to tell the pancreas to release insulin into the bloodstream. Then this insulin can be delivered to widespread areas throughout the body tell the cells to open up their doors to open that, uh, to let that glucose in. So this is a humoral stimulation. Humoral stimulation is stimulated by things floating in the bloodstream and they're usually, what they usually are, are ions and nutrients, okay? So in this case, glucose is that nutrient. Now the last type of stimulation is that of neural stimulation. This is where a neuron stimulates a cell or gland to release its hormone. And what we've got is a neuron here stimulating the cells to release its hormone. Therefore the neuron must release a neurotransmitter first of all, binds to receptors of the cell to release its hormone. An example of this is the adrenal gland. So we know that the sympathetic nervous system is that of the fight or flight system. These neurons come out of the thoracic and lumbar areas of the spine. All right, and as these neurons come up, some of them can go towards the adrenal gland that sits on the kidneys and stimulate the adrenal gland to release adrenaline. So that means this hormone here being released from these cells of the adrenal gland into the bloodstream to, do, to be delivered throughout the body is gonna be adrenaline. So the three ways are gonna be a hormonal stimulus, a humoral stimulus, and a neural stimulus.